Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the first week of May. This is for the sign of Capricorn. Thank you for your patience. If you guys are looking for quick readings, you can go to my Instago app. I answer usually within 24 hours, usually sooner, but I want to say 24 just to be safe. Um, and they're $10 for a question, so you can always check that out. It's for iPhone users. This is for the sign of Capricorn. That was, a, that was flipped over from a different reading, so we're not going to take it. Oh, there's some suffering here, some kind of grief, heartache. Oh, goodness. Well, we'll go with these two. Now, generally, my readings are love readings for the, re the weekly, so we'll just see whatever comes up. There you are in reverse. You may be trying to restore some balance in your life, releasing something that wasn't meant to be, and that hurts. That could be the case. This will not resonate with everybody, so just take what does and leave the rest. But somebody is restoring control of their life, taking back what's been lost. Something wasn't meant to be, and, you know, that hurts. You know, it's over. Something has ended. Something has ended, Capricorn. That hurt. Almost like a betrayal. There's been some sort of betrayal. You may have felt defeated. But it looks like you're releasing it and letting it go. Oh, I'm not doing that. I'm doing this. Um, trying to restore balance. Yeah, you guys are trying to restore the balance in your life. Trying to get things back on track. Hmm. There's a lot of self-love here. Maybe you're doing some soul searching. Maybe you're going through some sort of rebirth, renewal, healing. Making firm decisions. You know, you're making clear decisions. And I think you're turning away from something that brought too much um, insecurity into your life. You are. I think you're you could be moving out of a situation. Your home life could be changing because you need more balance. You need more harmony. You're trying to bring things back together, whatever this means. There's healing for sure. A situation is trying, to, you're trying to heal a situation. But you're still in limbo. You're still in limbo. You're still stuck in some way. It's time to let go. If, you're, if you haven't let go of something yet, this card signifies that you are going to have to struggle through it. You may have been resisting a change, but you need to stop resisting this change. Stop resisting the change. You, it's time to release so that you can restore the control. Something has to be released. And it's something that is going to allow you to start over. Be like reborn again. Rebirth. You know, you're, it's, it's time to start a new journey. Okay, this is a new beginning. A new spiritual journey. Take a risk. So I think that this is a week of acknowledging some sort of completion, some sort of ending. Even though it hurts, you acknowledge it, you accept it. And you take the steps needed to release and restore so that you can start over. You're turning away from something that was less than balanced. There wasn't any harmony. There wasn't any peace. You may be making some compromises to restore the, the harmony. But it looks like you're about to embark on a new journey. Perhaps even on your own. Take a risk. Leap of faith. After hanging around for a while. Because you didn't want to, you were scared of this change. You've hung around and 
been indecisive for long enough and it feels like this is a week of making that decision to release, to let go. Taking very little from the past with you. I'm starting over. Whatever, whatever you were invested in, in the past, was unrealistic and dissatisfying. There was no hope. It was less than inspiring. There was no peace. There was no serenity. You were always having to put your guard up and defend yourself. And now you're moving out of it. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. It's time for me to do the right thing for me. Get out of my way. Goodbye. I'm out of here. I'm done. I think you're moving very quickly out of a toxic situation. Very quickly out of a toxic situation that was less than wish fulfilling. Because you're looking for something solid and practical like you are, right? I want something stable. I want something solid. I want something practical. I'm looking for uh, security here. I think that you're getting right back to your own element. You're, you're, you're getting yourself back to where you need to be. And wherever you are at, there was a lack of, of, of love, I'm sorry to tell you. I feel like there was, or there is, a dying dream or some kind of lack of love situation that gets left behind. Something is getting left behind so that you can that you so that you can start over again. You've realized that it wasn't destiny, it wasn't fate. And that hurts. I see that it does. But peace and harmony are more important than having to defend yourself and stand up for yourself and walk on eggshells and be betrayed and being stuck and being scared of change somebody is embarking on a new journey on their own taking a leap of faith so that they can get back to their own element they can get back to where they need to be release release somebody is has gone through some sort of internal transformation there's no doubt about it somebody has gone through some sort of internal transformation and they it's like they're going through a renew a rebirth with the empress card right down there in the middle under here that's a rebirth this is a rebirth as well with endings bring new beginnings, and we say that a lot as tarot readers, and that's what's going on here. You guys have a beautiful new beginning right in front of you because you're taking control. You're restoring control. You're taking your life back. You could have been dealing with a Leo, a Scorpio. We have all signs. I'm just a Sagittarius, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. doesn't matter. could be any sign. Here we have Leo. That's why I pointed it out. But whoever that you're dealing with, stole your energy, brought you down. And now it's time to move on, Capricorn. This is a week of moving on and getting yourself back together. moving from the muddy waters to the calm waters, standing your ground, ending something that was too difficult so that you can find happiness, bliss, 
you've been enlightened, you've learned a lot through this process, whatever has happened, you've learned a lot, and now it's time to work on me, I need to put effort in, and I need to work on what, what will make me happy. I need to work on my own happiness and right now I'm going to put all my time and effort into my own happiness. And if that means I have to let something go, then that's what I'm going to do. Even though it hurts. And there's that card that fell out or, or actually it was the yeah, upright or whatever when I was shuffling it was upright in the deck and I said I had to flip it over. It was from the last pull. Now it's on the bottom. It must have been meant for you. You're moving forward very, very quickly. You're heading in the right direction. You're going through a transformation. You're mastering your emotions and taking control of your life. You found your mental strength to bring success and victory. You're replacing fear with faith. You're in the driver's seat and there ain't nobody holding you back. This is a week of new beginnings because you let something go that was toxic. The devil card is toxic, in case anybody doesn't know what all these cards mean. Somebody has released the toxic situation with the devil reversed so that they could bring happiness to their lives, even though it was hard to do. It was very hard to do. But wherever you were at, it was it, there was no wish fulfillment here. And you had to go through this. It's time for a renewal. It's time for a rebirth. It was time to move on. You've learned a lot. Now it's time to work on you. It had to end. It had to end because who wants to fight all the time? I don't want to fight all the time. Do you want to fight all the time? No, I don't want to fight all the time. Sorry. You've gained a lot of wisdom. You have. Chalk it up to a lesson learned. Now that you've learned the lesson, use that wisdom to propel you forward on your new journey that you are about to embark on if you haven't already. Somebody is starting a new journey, take, not taking the past with them. There is absolutely a rebirth, a renew, renewal here that is going to make somebody very happy in the end. And this is the week where somebody gets in their own driver's seat, puts the pedal to the metal, and heads in a new direction. For real. This will not resonate with everybody because we're all at different levels on our journey. Some of you are still stuck in a situation that is toxic and you're unable to let go. You're still in limbo. You're still stuck because you're letting fear, the strength card reversed, hold you back. Some of you are still too fearful to master your emotions. But the majority of you are not. Oh my God. I just have to show you new beginnings. That's what's going on here. Are you ready? If something is holding you back, take back your control. It's time to start over. You're not the same person you used to be. That's evident. So Capricorn, first week of May. This could resonate at any time in May. could resonate in April, you know what I mean. Instago, if you want something quick, go there. If you want a private reading, you know, with more information, then you can send me an email and I'll let you know about that. Talk to you later.